guys this is a third video in shopify admin api tutorial series so i'm here on shopify admin api documentation i'm going to leave a link to this documentation in the description and i also have a sample shopify store that is open here so here in the documentation in the first two videos we have explored these get endpoints to learn how we can fetch products from shopify and this is going to be the continuation of the previous videos and in this video we are going to look at how we can create a product in shopify by making a post request to shopify admin api so basically we are going to create a new product here in shopify from our node.js application using shopify admin api I've already covered in the previous videos how we can get the Shopify API keys. So if you already have the API keys, you can continue watching further. If you want to get an idea on how to get the API keys from Shopify, you can watch my previous video in this tutorial series. So now let's go to Visual Studio Code and make a post request to Shopify admin API by looking at this documentation. So guys here I am in my Visual Studio code. I have already set up my Node.js application and I have the Shopify admin API access token here in .env file and I am accessing the token here. And in the previous videos we have written two functions fetch Shopify products and fetch single product where we made a get requests to the Shopify admin API. So as a continuation to that I am going to create a new function here and this function we are going to call it as create Shopify product and I'm just going to create an empty function here and that's where we are going to be writing all the code to create a product in Shopify by making a post request to Shopify admin API. So guys before we start writing this function we need to have a look at documentation of post request that we want to make to Shopify. So I'll go back to the documentation again. So here in the documentation you can see that they have a very comprehensive documentation on how to create a new product in Shopify using admin API. So here in the documentation they have given a sample code for all the different programming languages. We are just going to refer this curl documentation because we are going to be making a post request by using fetch in JavaScript. So here in the documentation I can see the URL that I have to make a request to. So I'm just going to copy that URL because that's the URL we need to call to create a product in Shopify. So let's copy that and go back to this function that we created create Shopify product and let's save it as a url so that's the url we have copied from shopify but here you can see that this is just a sample url where they say your store.myshopify.com so we have to replace this part with our store name which we can go and find in shopify so if i go to my shopify store here which is already open here in the browser so i'll just go to the sample shopify store and here in the settings if i go to the settings i'll be able to find the store name here so i'm just going to copy this that is some random number.myshopify.com so let's copy that and I'm going to replace this part with my store name. So basically that's the URL we are going to make a fetch request to and we are going to be passing some information related to the product. So let's create another variable here that is going to be body which is basically the product related information that we are going to be passing to Shopify. So here at the bottom I'm just going to make a fetch request to this URL that we got here. So let's create a fetch request to this URL and and this fetch request is going to be the post request. So we are going to pass the method as post and we are also going to pass some headers to this request and to find out what headers we need to pass here we have to go to Shopify documentation again. So here in the Shopify documentation in the curl request we can see that there are two headers being passed here. So one of them is the content type that is application.json. So let's copy this first header from here. Go back to our application and here in the headers I'm just going to pass my content type as application.json. And the second header that we need to pass here we can again look in the documentation. So here in the documentation I can see that we have to pass Shopify access token. So let's copy that and pass the token as a second header. And I'm going to get this token from my .env which I've already created a variable here that is process.env.shopify admin access token. So I'm just going to copy this token and pass it here in the second header. And the third thing that we need to pass here to complete this post request is going to be body. And in the body I'm just going to pass the body as json.stringify and we have already created a body variable here so i'm just going to copy that and paste it here so that is going to be our fetch request but as of now you can see that the body is basically empty here so we have to create an object here that is going to be uh, information about the product 
and we are going to look at Shopify documentation to find out how we can create a body. So before we do that, let's complete this fetch request. So here we got a fetch request and then we are going to receive a response and we are going to convert it into response.json. We can log the final response so we, we are able to see it in the console. So let's do console.log response. So guys, this has completed our fetch request and we are passing a body here. So let's go back to the documentation and see what exactly we need to pass in this body. So here in the Shopify documentation, I can see that in the body, they are passing an object, which is basically a product. And this product is having a title and it's also having body HTML, vendor, product type and the status. So that's all the information we have to pass to create a new product in Shopify. To understand this better, let's go to Shopify here. So here in my Shopify store, if I go to the product section, so here in the product section, if I look at any product, I can see that this product has a title. This product also has an image and it's also having some information about the inventory, how many in stock and there is a category and there is a product type and the vendor. And if I open any of the product, I'll be able to see more details here. So here I can see the title, I can see the description, I can see product type, vendor and I can see other things, for example, tags, collections, and I can also see the images here. So we are going to try and create a product and pass as much information as we can. And we are going to refer to the documentation to make sure we are passing all the information in the correct format. So looking at this, I can see that it's basically a object and within the object, they have different properties like title, body HTML, product type, vendor. So we are going to create a body in the similar format. So let me go back to Visual Studio Code. So here in Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to create body as a product and this product is going to have different properties. So the first property that I'm going to pass to this product is the title and I can name this title as my test product. We also have to pass a description, which is basically body HTML as we have seen in the documentation. So here in the documentation, I can see they have body underscore HTML. So in body underscore HTML, I can just say that it's my test product description. So we got a title here. We have passed title. We have passed description and we also need to pass the status that we can see here. So the status. So let's go back and pass status as draft and let's see what else we have here. We are also going to pass this product type and vendor. So I can say that my product type is t-shirt and let's say that vendor is edit clothes. And the most important thing that we have to pass here is the images. So let's try and pass some image in this product. So here in Visual Studio Code, I'm also going to pass images in the body. And this images is going to be a array and this is going to take a object. And the property that we have to pass here is source. Source is going to be the URL of the image. So I'm just going to be passing a URL here. So it can be URL of any image that you want to create in a product. So we got the title, we got description, we got status and the images. So we got all the basic information that we need to create a product. So if we look at the documentation here. So here in the documentation, we can see that they got the title, description, vendor, product type and status. And if you want to explore what else we can pass in the product, you can look at the documentation here. So here they show all the fields that can be passed to the product. So here they have the entire structure of the product. And this can be treated as a reference to find out the correct format in which information has to be passed for this fetch request to work properly. So I think we got all the basic information about the product and now we are just going to run this function. So, so let's summarize what we have done so far. So in this function, create Shopify product, we got the URL that we need to make a call to in order to create a product in Shopify. We defined the body and then we created a fetch request to that URL by passing that body. And in the headers, we are also passing the token here. And I think that completes our create Shopify product function. So here at the bottom, I'm just going to make a call to this function and we are going to see if it's working fine. So here in the terminal, I'm just going to start my project by running a command npm start. So I can see that I'm getting some response from my fetch request, which is basically a product that has been created in Shopify. And it's a my test product with a description that we have passed. So it looks like this fetch request is working fine and our create Shopify product function is working fine. Let's go to Shopify and see if the product is created in our Shopify store. So here in my Shopify store, I'll go back to my products section. 
and if i refresh this page and scroll down a little bit to find the product that i created so here i can see that this product has been created in shopify my test product the status is draft if i open this so i can see that this product has a title and a test description here and it also has product type vendor and there is an image that i passed so there is a lot more information you can pass to this product for example you can pass the price sku and different options if you want to create a multivariant product and to find out how we can pass all this information for example sku and price we have to look at the documentation so here in the documentation they have a sample code for creating a product with multi product variants multiple options so if i look at this create a product with multiple product variants so here you can look at all the product properties that have to be passed to create a product with the variants they also have the structure in which you have to pass all the information for example the price sku so guys i hope you got a very good idea on how to create a product in shopify using shopify api if you want a more comprehensive video on how we can pass the remaining information for example the variants options and the sku and the pricing leave me in the comments i'll make a very comprehensive video on that and if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one